Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Elixir Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be finishing off our render engine process. Um, so basically, you know, we were going to implement the engine.stop because now at this point, um, based on the previous episode, we have completed HTML rendering. We got, we are now able to get the result. Um, and so we need to just stop the engine because you know, why keep it running, right? Um, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to implement the stop uh, function. So what we need to do is we're going to, in this episode, we're going to discover a new callback for gen server called terminate. And terminate is a way um, that you can implement, uh, you know, any kind of like exit strategy for the gen server. So, um, you know, in case errors happen for whatever reason, how do you handle that? In this case, uh, we're going to have a normal shutdown. Uh, what, what's called a normal shutdown, which means, you know, it's normal, but what we're doing is we're shutting down the process deliberately uh, and there's no errors. So we need to just implement that. So I'm going to do def uh, stop PID do and then gen server dot stop uh, PID and then here we're going to pass it normal. So we need to pass it the reason why we're stopping. Um, and then basically here we can implement the callback. So def uh, terminate and here we're going to do normal state. Um, so in here, what I'm going to also do, uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, clean, you know, actually write the cleanup logic, the code uh, over here, the code, you know, the cleanup, the, this whole process. So if we go back to init, we are subscribing to, you know, a couple of events over here. Uh, and, you know, we also holding a session in the Chrome dev tool, which we need to let go of. So we're going to do those two things. And uh, we're going to do it like this. So now we're going to have page session dot unsubscribe all. Thank you very much. Autocomplete con. Uh, and then we're going to do page session dot stop. And here we're going to do state dot con. Um, so that pretty much, you know, completes the whole cleanup process. But what we actually want to do is go a little bit um, you know, do a little bit of logging over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to require logger. And then here I'm going to um, do logger dot info. Uh, and then here I'm going to pass it the message engine. So, you know, we know that this is coming from our engine stopping, um, you know, engine for, and then here we're going to pass it the URL. So state dot URL. So we're going to pass it the state that URL. We need to make sure that the URL um, you know, that we pass in here is tracked in here. So, so URL, uh, URL. So essentially we need to be able to reference this in the state. Uh, that's what we're doing here. Uh, we never needed it before, but now for this case, you know, I want to be able to like output in the logs that, okay, this page is now done rendering, it's stopping. Um, it'll be useful for debugging, you know, when you're running this in production and you have a logger somewhere, it'll actually come out in that log to show that, oh, this is where it started, this is where it finished, blah, 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 and you can do that, all kinds of stuff with that. Um, so let's go ahead and run this, uh, you know, and then we're gonna actually just call the actual API. Uh, so I'm gonna go IEX uh, S mix, and then here, uh, all we're gonna do is just actually do bodyfull.render.html, uh, and then here I'm gonna pass in HTTP S, so we no longer need to do the uh, start the engine ourselves and manage and wait for it to finish and all. We don't need to do any of that stuff because we implemented a beautiful API on top of everything, and you know it pretty much returns us the result. You know it'll wait and it'll do everything for us. It'll, all we do is we pass it in what we want. What we pass in the URL, we get back HTML. End of story. That's all we want to do. Um, so here we're gonna do www.artelectual. Dot com. I'm sure there's going to be bugs because, you know, we wrote the code. So there we go. Um, so I want to make sure that we, you know, fix all the bugs. There's one over here. We use complete, not completed. And our state is actually, it should be completed, not complete. So I'm going to uh, fix that over there. So I'm going to start again here, start the server again. And then we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to do bodyful.render.html and then HTTPS artelectual.com and bam there we go look at that we got the full html returned everything working beautiful api we don't have to muck about with starting gen servers and managing and waiting for network calls or anything everything is abstracted away beautifully working um, so that will pretty much uh, wrap up the, the whole render process 
uh, for us. So the next thing we need to do is talk about caching. Uh, you know, once we render the page, what do we do next? Like, how do we cache this page so that, you know, if we hit get hit again, if we hit the same page, like Google comes and hits our page again, we can surf direct from cache. We don't need to re-render the page uh, because it's already done. We've done it, we've cached it, uh, we can just serve it. Um, so that's gonna be the next section, uh, the, you know, the, this whole section of rendering the page and, f and, and uh, you know, how do we actually cache all this stuff that we've done. Um, so for now, this is gonna wrap up this episode. Um, you know, we, you know, in this episode, we pretty much wrote the cleanup uh, function. So uh, I just wanna, yeah, before we end, I forgot to, uh, you know, stop the rendering engine over here. So yeah, now we can call stop successfully. Uh, so let's call the, uh, you know, this whole thing again. We can also check out, um, you know, there we go. That's our log, uh, stopping engine for artelectual.com and it returns us the result. And then we can use this result, yeah, as I mentioned, we can cache it, we can put it in S3, we can put it in Google storage uh, or whatever it is. We can slice it, dice it, you know, parse it, take screenshots, do whatever we want, literally. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. This is a free episode for, um, you know, for those of you out there wondering what we're doing. We're solving server-side rendering using Elixir. Um, and you know, if you found this episode useful, become a member on our site for nine bucks a month. You can ask us questions, give us feedback on our site in the conversation, the discussion system. Um, and so, yeah, with that, I want to wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys and girls in the next episode.